Hey, hi there, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot and Oracle card reading. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. Remember to check your rising and moon and Venus signs for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. Scorpio, I'd like to thank you so much for supporting my channel. The likes, they really help me out a lot. I am truly grateful. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, one Divine Feather message, and one card from the deck of quotes by famous people. And now here's your first card, Scorpio. It's the basis of the matter. This is the situation at hand. This is something that's now beginning to start to pass into the future. Number 10 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Wheel of Fortune. This is a fire energy card. This card is ruled by Jupiter. This could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Could be in your chart or someone else's. This card represents changes, good fortune, luck, felicity, it's fate, karmic, it's opportunity. This can be unexpected. It's new conditions, a change of fortune for the better. It's a new chapter starting. It aligns with destiny and your fortune and its elevation. It's fate and karma, and as the wheel turns, life changes. Nothing ever stays the same. Events are going to turn around in some fashion, and now this situation, it's going to change on its own accord. It is now beyond your control. This has to do with cycles, cause and effect, karma and luck and expansion. Maybe you'll feel like you're being on a roll, or lucky, or aware of cycles or patterns. This can be a surprise. It can be a gift that goes beyond le reason or logic. Something's been put into motion. Now you must accept the actions of the forces of destiny and align yourself with their aims. These changing circumstances are usually for the better, and it's going to promote your growth. And it's a reminder that Every period of intense activity must be followed by a fallow time of rest and inactivity. This is a new phase. It's possibly the need to make an important decision. Or it could be a totally unexpected circumstance developing that's going to change your life. But destiny has been set into motion, and all will turn out as it is intended. Now there's very little you can do except for go with the flow. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Scorpio. The Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is Virgo Energies. Could be in your chart or someone else's. This has to do with your dedication and working steadily and getting closer to your goal. Could be some tension in this area. Could be a challenge or an obstacle. This is working on practical things in your environment. It could represent employment or employment to come. It's perfecting your skills. It's being meticulous, proud of your work, precise. This is someone that's taking classes. They're detail-oriented. They could be doing homework or attending to some kind of craftsmanship detail. It's doing something repetitively can be improving yourself, repairing. It's being absorbed, and it's doing what needs doing, and it's working on your talents with dedication and precision. This is applying your skills in a productive manner and knowing how to go about achieving what you want. This is an unwavering attention that creates success. The Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Pentacles is a turning point with what you are dedicated to. This is lucky with money. It's a wise investment. 
It can be a promotion. It's seamless change and success just around the corner. And this position has a future. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Scorpio. This is your card. This is a card of sun in Scorpio. Now, this is happy memories, nostalgia, giving or receiving gifts. This is an innocent love and a karmic attraction. It's being sentimental. This is a blooming spiritual experience. It can be a meeting with an old friend or an old lover. This can be a helpful person. It's an emotional bond that survives death and a reminder not to get stuck in the past. This could be someone that's missing someone. It could be thoughts of a past love that still haunt. This can also represent a deeper commitment. It's love and harmony and enjoying safety and security. These are things done from the heart, surprise gifts, a soul connection. It's being sweet and charming and kind and tender, sentimental, childlike and protective, shielded and even pampered. The Wheel of Fortune with the Six of Cups is a childhood dream coming true. It's finding your path through childhood. It can be an unexpected karmic attraction and surprise gifts. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Scorpio, you've got the Nine of Swords, air energy. This is Mars in Gemini. It's like having the tower, a mini tower. And when you have a Wheel of Fortune, it's not surprising to see a tower in your reading. But this does have to do, it can be a surprise in this position, in the future position. This is an unfounded anxiety or a fear. could bring some insomnia. It's also low energy and an anxiety, anxiety and a need to be patient. It's a preoccupation with a past experience. Maybe it's feeling unworthy or overly fearful or worried about the future. Could be overly sensitive to other people's opinions. You'll need to talk about the problems that you bury, speak up to solve those problems or bring those regrets, even nightmares. The suffering is in your mind. It's a mental torture. This is a high-stress card. You'll need to make the required changes for a better future. This can represent ruined plans or health worries. So steps should be taken to solve these problems. And now you are near the end of your mental ordeal. So stop ignoring these fears you've buried. This is a wisdom and strength that's gained through experience. Remember, worrying is pointless unless it drives you to take action. So confront your worries and fears and take steps to solve your problems. Talk to someone, write in a journal, see a doctor. If you continue to doubt and fear, then they continue to haunt you. Maybe you're someone around you is having feelings of guilt regarding a past transgression. But often the fear of difficulties is worse than the reality. The fear is far worse than the outcome. Put two and two together and look at contradictions around you. Strengthen your resolve and your patience and try not to feel so down by the temporary blockages or difficulties. The Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Swords. This can be a high-energy state of self-motivation. It can also be a debilitating anxiety. This is a regret if a chance not taken. It represents restlessness, its success in an unexpected way, and worries that are short-lived. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen, Scorpio. The Six of Wands. Fire Energy. Jupiter in Leo. Jupiter always brings in expansion. Luck. That's two Jupiter cards, as well as the Wheel of Fortune. This is victory and accolades. It's triumphing over adversity. It's beating the odds and in achievement. It's good news and success. And you've met all the challenges to your work and 
your work or pos position or reputation, and then you come out with flying colors. It's overcoming the opposition and being the center of attention. This is past self-doubt being resolved. It's being in the process of winning big battles and expecting to succeed. It's having your desires gratified. Gifts may be received. This is success in love life and being adored by your partner. This is someone getting attention and being in the public eye. It's working on projects that bring recognition. It's counting on coming out on top and being very fortunate. It's discovering what you're made of and it's overcoming challenges and then being a winner. The Wheel of Fortune with the Six of Wands is a turning point that brings change and victory. It's popularity and adoration. It's change and expansion and coming out on top. The Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Cups is a previous connection that leads to getting closer to your goal. The Eight of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords is being stressed or depressed about all the work you put in. The Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Wands is dedication with rewards and recognition. It's passion and success. It's a new job with swift advancement. The Six of Cups with the Nine of Swords is mentally obsessing over something from the past. It can be fear of the past and haunting memories. The Six of Cups with the Six of Wands is leaving the past behind or leaving a previous connection behind. This can also indicate that your soulmate will give you confidence. Two sixes in a reading represents someone that could be irritable. Also, justifiable faith in a partner. The Nine of Swords with the Six of Wands is a fear of success. It's anxiety about being in the public eye, and someone might have some arrogance. Now here is your Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed Card number 27. Exchanging gifts. Interesting that the Six of Cups is also given a gift. Number 27. Exchanging gifts. The law of giving and receiving. Currency, trade-offs, weighing costs and determining values. You're entering into a productive and enriching time when all manners of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them. Yet in order to honor them, you must put in the time, exchange your experience and skills, and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue, and that's the Eight of Pentacles. You can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance, and there's that Nine of Swords, that fear. So do not let that guide your choices. This is not a time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring to your life. Here's the relationship message. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. Here's the prosperity message. All of your hard work and efforts, your commitment to learning, creating, and spending time wisely, pay off in ways you may not have been anticipating. The gifts of yourself, your time, your ideas, and the energy of your intentions are being reciprocated by the universe, which is sending you signs and signals, aligning synchronistic meetings and opportunities to bring you success and more. Everything is an exchange. Keep doing what you're doing. Goodwill comes back tenfold. Here's your divine feather message. And it is... Grouse. Embrace the power of dance and movement to access your highest guidance. Grouse, Scorpio, embrace the power of dance and movement to access your highest guidance. And now here's your quote from a famous person. 
I didn't get there by wishing for it or hoping for it, but by working for it. Estee Lauder. I didn't get there by wishing for it or hoping for it, but by working for it. Estee Lauder. Thanks, you guys, Scorpio. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.